Hey world, I'm Josh. And I'm Lauren. Welcome to another episode of Let's Try Stuff. Coffee edition. The way too early in the morning coffee edition. Today we are doing the Guatemala coffee from Tandem Coffee Roasters. Uh, Tandem Coffee Roasters is based out of Portland, Maine. Uh, they consistently buy and roast amazing coffees and we are proud to feature them, says Mr. Box. Our code is Z295, by the way. Uh, this is their second year buying this fantastic coffee from Otto Rafael Herrera, who is the second generation owner of La Esperanza, a family run operation since 1974. We taste honey sweetness with orange like acidity with a nutty finish. Uh, and to be perfectly honest, uh, these were roasted on 817, it's 119. Uh, so. It's fine. Honestly, it was still pretty darn uh, frothy in the Chemex. Tasting notes are honey, orange, and mellow. Fully washed, Katura, you know, roll your R's, two R's, Katura variety. And what do you think? This is a good coffee. Good coffee? Mm hmm. Specifically, why? I really like, I do get the orange. I like that a lot. I'm a fan. It's not too acidic though. It's just got that little bit of orangey brightness to it. I don't know, this, this seems to be exactly the kind of coffee I like. Yeah, that's what I would expect. But I wouldn't attribute that because of the sweetness. Like, it does, this is one that I actually get the sweetness from. I I mean, you were definitely in line with the good folks at Misto Box, but maybe because it's still a little on, a, on the warm side, I'm struggling. Mm hmm That's what happened to the last one. For there's, me. there's like a sweetness there, but that uh, toffee caramel kind of sweetness for me, the burnt, burntness. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm hunting for the orange and honey, and I, know, I think it's just because I, I think it's because the coffee's kind of warm, and it's kind of early. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to rely early. on you on this one. I gotta tap out. Mm. I gotta lean on Lauren. Yeah, for me this one really isn't very intense, but it's got enough flavors to make it interesting, and to make it, you know. I don't really care for that nuttier, like the cashew flavor kind of tastes from coffee. I really prefer the citrusy kind, and but this isn't like melt your tongue off acidic or anything, so I have to say I'm a big fan of this one. Okay, Lauren's a big fan. Josh can't be fair. Yeah, I, I feel like my taster's broken this morning. Mm. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I, I know it tastes like more than what I'm tasting. I, I, to me, I'm just getting a pretty typical coffee flavor that is kind of uh, kind of strong. And I don't think, if Lauren's getting all that, then clearly I'm missing something. And I think it's well, just... I don't know. Maybe I'm making it up. I don't think so, because I was up pretty late. <laughs> I've been working. And yeah, I um, it smells really good. That's the other thing that tells me whatever I'm tasting doesn't really match. What does it smell like? It smells like the sweetness you're talking about. Mm. It smells more like a mellow honey kind of orange thing. But it's not translating to what I'm tasting and I, it's a broken morning. Mm. So Lauren likes it. I think if I could taste what she was tasting this morning, I would like it too. Maybe you should give a follow-up later if you... If I get back to it before I edit the video, certainly. But I think relying on you is pretty good, too. Okay. So, thanks for watching. Tell us what to try next. Comment we'll down below. Subscribe, and we'll see you next time.